Here's something that might surprise you. That mole you worry about, it's probably not a mole. Which raises two questions. If it's not a mole, then what is it? And worse, could it be something more dangerous? I'm a doctor who sees hundreds of people every year about their moles, even though most of the time they're not moles. And in fact, there's something different. That doesn't mean they're a cancer or anything bad, and most of the time they're completely fine. But that's why I wanna go through pictures with you today. So after this video, you'll know what a mole is. You'll know what the five most common lookalikes are. And finally, the one deadly lookalike you must not miss. Most people point at any brown spot and call it a mole, but medically, a mole or a nevus is a cluster of pigment cells called melanocytes. Think of them like tiny drops of ink tucked into your skin. Sometimes they're flat, sometimes they're raised, but generally they're round, symmetrical, and they're pretty stable over time. Most moles appear in childhood and adolescence, slowly increasing until your early to mid 20s, and then that's it. So if you're someone who has a mole popping up in your 40s, then pay attention because that's a little bit peculiar. In terms of causes, genetics and sun exposure are the usual suspects. Fair-skinned people often have more and sunburns can trigger new spots or pigment changes. So if we call all sorts of things moles when they're not moles, that's when the confusion and the danger can start. So the question is, if they're not moles, what on earth are they? Let's go through the five most common pretenders, which are all harmless, but they've all given someone worry in a restless night at some point. Seborrheic keratosis. These are my favorite fakes, and I probably see thousands of them every year. They can look terrifying, these dark, crusty, stuck-on blobs. People often come into me convinced that it's something bad, but here's the truth. These guys are more like barnacles on a ship. They're ugly, crusty, a little stubborn, rather than a cancer, which invades and sticks its fingers into things. They can pop up in inconvenient places, like at the bra strap line where they catch on things. But apart from that, otherwise, they're completely harmless. Now let's compare them to a mole. Notice how they sit on the skin, almost glued on, and often have this waxy, wart-like texture. They don't change much in time and they can pop up in clusters like this little army of harmless invaders. Skin tags. Now these aren't very mole-like, but these little dangly bits can be very worrying to people. They're usually in the armpits, neck, under the breasts, or even on the eyelids. Really, they're just extra flaps of skin that wiggle a bit when you move. They can catch on necklaces and clothes and sometimes they appear in clusters. Annoying, absolutely dangerous, not at all. They tend to pop up quite quickly in clusters in areas of friction or if you've gained a little weight. And the reason I show them is to reassure you that they are not anything to worry about. Solar lentigines, sunspots. Consider these your skin's coffee stains on a white shirt after years of sun exposure. I guess they're a bit like a cross between a mole and a large freckle, but at the same time, they're different to both. Unlike true moles, sunspots tend to appear later on in life after years of sun exposure in sun exposed places like the face, the shoulders, the hands. They're usually flat, symmetrical, one single color, and unlike freckles, they don't just fade away in the winter. In themselves, they're completely harmless, but it's what they represent. They happen after years of sun exposure, so they could tell a story of you being at an increased risk of skin cancer, but they themselves, not dangerous at all. Cherry angiomas. These are made entirely of blood vessels rather than pigments, so they're not remotely related to moles at all. And the name tells you what you need to know. They're bright red, dome-shaped, spots that look like cherries, or if someone used a red marker on your skin. And they're super common, especially as you get older, but they can appear in clusters, and that can freak people out because red means danger, right? But the reality of it, is that they're just harmless vascular dots. Sometimes they bleed if they're scratched, but that's the only drama you'll get. Dermatofibromas. These are little firm bumps, usually on the legs, sometimes brown or pink. They can catch people off because they feel different to other spots. A standout feature that clinicians find in them is that they dimple if you pinch the skin. I think the best way to think of them is as little pieces of scar tissue that have happened over a period of time. You don't even notice it until somebody points it out. They themselves are completely harmless and they tend to just stick around. 
but they can be difficult to tell the difference between this and some other forms of skin cancer, so you should probably get it checked. Because most of the time, if it's not a mole, it's one of these harmless skin spots that are not dangerous at all, but not every time. Sometimes it's something dangerous. Sometimes it's something you can't afford to miss. So these are far less common than all the skin lesions I've told you about, including moles, but melanomas are a type of skin cancer that can be deadly. Have a look at some examples here. So they can look similar to five harmless spots we just covered, right? Sometimes they're flat, sometimes they're raised, sometimes they're dark, and sometimes they're almost ordinary looking. The main clues to look out for are changes over time, unusual colors, a peculiar shape, blurred borders, itchy, bleeding, oozing, or one spot that just sticks out and looks different. And they can be so tricky to pick up, hiding there in plain sight, and I've seen them catch loads of people out. So if you have a skin lesion you're worried about, it's got to be checked by a healthcare professional. But there is a way that you can tell at home the difference between something that might be serious and something that is safe, a system, something to follow, a system that can literally save lives, which is why I've made this video here with millions of views that's so important to watch. Not so you can diagnose melanoma or these skin lesions, but so that you can tell the difference between something that's potentially dangerous and something that's safe. I hope it's useful. Thank you very much for watching and hopefully I'll see you over there.